want the perfect energy source, then solar would be that source. It's free. It pays for itself. It's non-polluting. It makes you more energy independent. It's renewable. We're saving lots of money. Keep our planet livable. My family put a solar array on top of the roof, and so the power, we get it from the sun, which is using natural resources, which is better for the environment. Because I have a solar array on my house, I am reducing 25% of my energy need from the utility company. And that means a lot to me because that makes me partially energy independent. You're using the free energy from the sun to make electricity for your home. I'm generating electricity. I'm avoiding carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. I'm avoiding methane in the atmosphere. I'm contributing nothing to global warming. That was our motivation. I'm sure it's a motivation for lots of people. The more people that get PV systems, the less coal that's going to be burned. You're helping the environment. You can make a huge difference by investing in solar energy. Photovoltaic system is a series of photovoltaic panels you put in your roof, tie it to your house with an inverter, and it replaces the electricity you buy from the grid. Solar system works because the photons from the sun hit the silicon, release an electron, and cause an electron flow in the panel, which is captured through wires. Having the energy just come from the sun is really no different, like you can't tell at all. When you flip that switch in your house, whether it's powered by solar or the grid, it's identical. It just sits up there and makes energy. And even on cloudy days, you're still making electricity. It's really a great feeling to know that you're generating your own electricity. If people understood how easy it is to have solar electricity on their roof, I think more people would look into it. From the environmental side, it's very attractive. And you can make a huge contribution with one little solar system. No noise pollution, no air pollution, no hazardous waste, and it's generating electricity every day. And it will continue to do so for a quarter of a century. And these panels are guaranteed for 20 years, but they really will last for 30 or more years. It's a really simple, straightforward technology. We know it's reliable, we know it works, and we know we can trust it keep our planet livable. It's a really good investment. Once you've paid it off, you get free electricity for the rest of your life. It's such a savings. We create our own energy 90% of the time. I remember that I went home at lunchtime every day just to see the meter go backwards. We're selling most of the day our excess power back to the grid. We're making energy at that time of day when the rates are highest for grid electricity and offsetting purchasing that peak power. So our bills are much cheaper now. The, the one thing about solar electric arrays is that it's maintenance free. There's no moving parts, it makes no noise. It's carefree energy production. It's no mess, no fuss, no oil, no grease, no anything. I don't have to pay any attention to it. I don't have to check any levels. For 20 years, that thing is just going to come along, pumping out the electrons. It's just a matter of letting it sit in the sun and collect energy. The energy is free from the sun. What you're paying for is yep. the manufacturing and installation of the panels. The solar panels pay for themselves. The payback might be eight or nine years. At current rates, keep in mind that the rates are not going to stay current. And if you give any value at all to the environmental benefits of having solar, it's going to pay back even faster. We were helped in this process in Arizona because the utilities are paying for part of the cost of installing these systems. There's a federal tax incentive. There's a state tax incentive. There is a utility incentive. We figure our house will be paid off in about 10 years. Uh, then it's all free electricity. After a while, after it pays itself off, you're actually saving money from not using the electricity and you're saving the environment. So it's a total plus. The difference between a centralized system which most people are familiar with, the big power plant burning coal or oil or gas, versus a distributed system means that energy generation is distributed around in small packages like mine. It's on my roof. I am a distributed center. A small power plant right there, and I make my own power, which is what anybody can do. It's really simple.
I knew that I didn't want to be dependent on foreign oil. Greater independence is going to come from greater solar. People go out and, and spend twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars for a car that's going to wear out. This adds thousands of dollars to the value of the home. It just makes sense. Photovoltaics is a great idea for homeowners in Arizona. It's the perfect state for putting in solar. The sun is free. We should be using it. It's a smart thing to do. You can actually install solar and expand over time based upon your budget. That's the beauty of the flexibility of this system. You can start with a tiny system and add to it as you feel you're financially ready. That makes it affordable. What I get out of this is not just the electricity, but I am not putting out CO2. I am not putting out methane. And I ascribe a certain value to that. For me, it pays back the environmentally, it pays back uh, economically, it pays back as an example to my neighbors. And there's a lot more than just money involved here. It's what am I doing to reduce the carbon load? What am I doing to be more independent? And what am I doing to take care of myself? It can be integrated into the roof design of your building. It can be aesthetically pleasing. I'm pleased with it, the way it looks and the way it blends in with the roof. The only person that's mentioned it to me is a lady up the street. And now that she's seen it, she wants one of her own. My wife, who's an interior designer, she's as sensitive to the aesthetic intrusion as anybody. She said, I love the fact that the lines are so simple, straight lines. You don't have to worry about homeowners associations. Anybody who wants to put it in can put it in. The state court has ruled in their favor. So when a homeowners association comes over and says, you can't put that in there, you tell them, not only can I put it in, but the state law protects me. It looks great. I can't think of a person who doesn't know now that the earth is in trouble. We all know that. Most utilities have gone to burning coal or gas, and all of those produce carbon dioxide. It's really a big threat to all of us. We're putting more crap in the air. There's what I call intergenerational inequity. We produce the waste, the future generations deal with it. But we get the electricity, they get the responsibility. That's not a fair bargain. We need to step up and, and, and take some responsibility for that. Sustainability, by definition, is essentially not foreclosing what the future options are. Do nothing today that will limit what the future generations can do. Don't make decisions today which the future generations are going to regret. I think that we have to deal with the environment now before it gets any worse. Here's something anybody can do, is put some photovoltaics on their property and be generating electricity and reducing our use of coal and gas and reducing the amount of carbon dioxide that goes in the atmosphere. Moving toward a solar economy is the single most important thing that we can do for all the future generations. Whether you do a PV system, whether you buy a hybrid, whether you ride the bus more, whether you cut down your miles in transportation, all of those make a difference. You have to do something yourself. Act as an individual, supporting it at the individual level. That means that you go out and you investigate solar and you put it into your house. Some people call this living green, some people call this thinking green, acting green. I think it's acting responsibly. <laughs> I just see that as part of what we're meant to do. You have a responsibility for everybody who comes after you. For the generation that's coming behind us and the generation coming behind them. We have to band together and save our world. It's up to us. You should be doing solar. Look into it now. We'll leave a planet our children can live on. We can make this happen. It's all about the future. If you're interested in more solar energy information, you can go to Green Building Expos, and you can go online. Go to azsolarcenter.com. It'll give you everything you want to know about solar. Sunshine. Free energy. Independence. Stewardship. Make the world a better place. <laughs>